beautiful spring day in Calgary. Roads are starting to dry up. Blue sky, a little couple of clouds here and there, and traffic. Lots and lots of traffic. So I'm headed to trail with, well, manure. It's potting soil and manure and that kind of, it's all type of bag, different bags, different skids of different stuff on them, but different blends of manure and soil and black soil, top soil and peat moss and steer manure. Headed to trail. The back trailer is for trail and then the front trailer is for Castlegar. Uh, both headed to Canadian Tire. And uh, they all unloaded me Saturday morning. I should have enough hours to get there tonight. Maybe? If all goes well, I should be able to get to the uh, Trail Canadian Tire tonight. Unload in the morning, head to Kaskar, unload there, and then head to uh, JB Hushcraft, which is in Creston, so away from home, get loaded there, and we'll see what I have for hours, and see if I can get home from there, or if I'm stuck there for the reset. It shall be interesting. Uh, dispatch says, get a load there, it's going to OK Falls, and then I can go home for the weekend, and I'm like, have you looked at how many hours I've got left? We'll see if I have the hours. It'll be close. guy's going slightly under speed. I can't get past him until this car clears me. Let's wash those windows again. It doesn't want to come off. It's glued on. Parmesan chicken? President's Choice truck beside us. At least the trailer. So we are on Highway 201. Not the 201 I'm used to in Manitoba. We used to live, in, well, not on Highway 201, but close to. Whoa! Let's not merge into each other, guys, there. Alright, I'm gonna merge back over. If I remember correctly, I want to stay in the left lane. I'm not going to stay all the way in the left lane because I'm not the fastest, obviously. But I need to go to uh, Deerfoot Trail southbound. Right now I'm on Stony Trail. My Garmin wanted me to go through downtown and I'm like, uh, no thank you when there is a perfectly good bypass around. And our load was near the bypass. So, no thank you Garmin. When I changed it on the Garmin, it actually said it was gonna take me about 15 minutes less in time. It's like, well then why didn't you choose that road? Choose the road that's quicker. 
and legal for trucks. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull over in 50 kilometers. Okay, keep that in mind to do load secure. Legally, I have to pull over after 80 kilometers when we first initially loaded. And after the 80 kilometers, I have to pull over every 240 kilometers or three hours, whichever comes first, to do load secure. Make sure my load is stayed secure, everything's strapped down. Legal requirement. And most of the time, it's fine. Every now and then, there's a loose strap. So, it's good to have that kind of law. Keeps everybody safe. Yeah, Calgary is pretty flat. The only reason there's uh, hills to go up, up and over most of the time is to, for an overpass. In this case, we're climbing for a train track. So, it's been a fun morning. When I unloaded, getting pelted by rocks, I saw a little slice of rubber underneath my truck. I'm like, huh, I opened the hood. Oh, that's not good. My fan belt is slowly peeling apart. So, got this badge to get me to the nearest international dealership, which was actually on the way to my load. So I stopped there, they took a look at it and go, well, it's not really your belt that's the problem. That's the symptom. My uh, belt tensioner was busted, so it was tearing apart my belt. So I had to wait there and get the parts, replace the belt tensioner, replace the belt. I kept the old belt because it still has some life in it. They they didn't have a new another new one, or else I would have picked up a second new brand brand new one just to the next time. Next time I know exactly how to replace the fan belt because I watched him. And it is pretty darn easy. Wouldn't have helped me anyway, the tensioner was busted, I would have shredded the brand new belt. But got that repaired, but by the time I got the repaired I missed my appointment for the load time. And these guys are very picky about appointment time, so called dispatch, made a new appointment. Luckily they had the space for a new appointment. I loaded me a lickety split and uh, while they were repairing my fan belt he did a quick once over and he just goes you've got an exhaust leak I'm like no wonder I was saying that some of those loads felt heavy I'm losing power so I let this batch know that too so next time I get home early enough, like on a Friday evening, I can drop it off at our local dealership and get our bunk heat and our exhaust fixed. That's another wash. I don't know if it makes a difference for the camera, but it makes a big difference for me. Because the camera is so close to the window, it probably doesn't see all the splats. If anything, they're blurry little fuzzy spots on the screen. So I wasn't quite broken down, but it was getting close. Also topped off my washer fluid. It did take a whole jug. I've been using that much. Whoa, why? Why was that necessary? Pass a big rig and then do a brake check, huh? Alright. My GPS 
that says three kilometers till Deerfoot Trail. Man, the sun is so bright, the GPS has got all this glare on it. Bumpy roads, I'm just jockeying left to right trying to stay within the lines. Always color within the lines, right? Ah, oh, yes. South Deerfoot Trail. Three lanes. But I know for a fact those three lanes do not last. It really is two lanes. I don't know if you guys can see the mountains in the background, but I certainly can. Lots of white peaks back there. Man, I wish I could take Highway 1 through there. That'd be fun. See, the sign clearly shows three lanes for Deerfoot Trail South. Even the Garmin says three left lanes. But you'll see, second we split off, merge sign, right away. Get some messages on my call quam. Seventy kilometers for this corner. Uh, there just is my next dispatches for JH Hoshcraft. Hushcraft. Yeah. Basically I'm getting messages of stuff I already knew was happening. Uh, Don called me and he says he's been waiting to call me. Don is uh, I guess in charge of the highway division. Not my dispatch, but he's in charge. And my dispatch, he, he went home sick. So he answered, or when I answered the phone, he just goes, hey, this is Don Juan. That was hilarious. He goes, he's been waiting to say that since I got the job there. Finally had a reason to call me. I thought it was pretty hilarious. Our names match up nicely. All right, now we are, once these two highways that are side by side merge together, we're on Highway 2 southbound. We'll head right to Highway 3 and then west, my friend, west into the mountains. As long as Kootenai Pass doesn't slow me down too much, I should have no problem making a two-trail tonight. Alright, so we have another 30 kilometers before I have to pull over and do a load secure check. Continue on Highway 2. So as soon as we get out of town here, I'll see if there's a good pull out. We'll pull out and do that load secure. Not sure why we're crawling here. Roads are not slippery anymore, not like yesterday. Speed 
limit's 110. I can't do 110, but I got a downhill here pushing me down, so I'm doing about 108 right now. I'll slow down as I get down here. And then hopefully these guys will pull over into that slow lane. There's a third slow pass lane and I can merge back. Yep, perfect. Am I gaining on him or is he pulling away from me? I think he's pulling away from me. Another window wash. Oh, he's turning off. the fastest I've climbed that hill with a load. We're not super heavy. I, I didn't realize how light some of the soil is. Weight is not an issue. And room isn't an issue either. They could have put more on. I guess that's as much as uh, the entire ordered. We've got 14 pallets on the front trailer. And eight pallets on the back trailer. It is warm out. Climb mean green mean green mean mean green machine? Mean green machine? Climb, climb, climb. Mean Green Machine. Let's go with that. Well, I think I'll call it a day there because this is pretty much what we're going to see for the next five or six hours. Flatland. More and more flatland. I love it. And we're slowing down. I'm going to put my four-way flashers on. So thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. And we'll see you guys. Either later or tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. We will see what happens. Thanks for watching.